All right, it's me, Christian, again. Um, I'm on my project yet again. I am tired as hell, and I'm riding tomorrow with my group. So I'm putting on these T-Rex frame sliders. <clears throat> I got them because a friend of mine actually went down on his uh, Triumph Daytona 675, and these things worked amazing. I mean, the dude slid across the street and it looks like it didn't do that much um, damage to the puck, which I think the puck is actually replaceable, I believe. And what's cool about these is uh, these frame sliders it actually has a, a bar that actually goes in between the bike to help support the frame sliders in between the bike so this bolts onto the bike but then this support bra the support bar fits in between these frame sliders to <clears throat> take even more pressure off of the frame which is amazing to me because <clears throat> most of them bolt just right on the on the frame itself um, so this actually is take if if you lay it down you're actually putting a lot of weight on this so if this bends, I guess, or anything, you just replace that, and that's even less damage or worry about on your frame. Anyway, so here's my bike. Okay, so this is the, they're saying this is the left side of the bike. If you're sitting on it, it's the left side. Okay, so the puck that has the one, two, three, four mounting holes goes on the left side. Okay, uh, this is from the factory. It's this size bolt here. But they give you two long bolts, okay, two of these, but they're really long, and so both of them go on the same side, on the opposite side. So you have one long one here and one long bolt on the other side, the bigger bolts. <clears throat> and then they give you two small bolts. One goes here, that's the support bar, so you have a small bolt here and this uh, you have a small bolt on the opposite side, okay, and then you have two medium-sized bolts. And those two medium-sized bolts are connected here, and they actually hold the horn bracket on, okay? So you're going to have to remove the horn bracket, <clears throat> move this bolt, install this, okay? I use threading compound, an um, <clears throat> anti-vibration threading compound. I use this stuff called, I believe it's called True Blue. And uh, so I got these on there, kind of loose, and then I tightened them all down. This one, for some reason, <clears throat> do yourself a favor, put this one on first, put this one on second, put this one on third. For some reason, when I went to, it's hard to match up the hole if you're trying to go from here to here. So do yourself a favor, start here, go here, then put this one on. And then this one was still a bitch to, to actually thread. I don't know why, maybe from the factory when they made this puck, it was a little off. I don't know, I'm not accusing them of that, but... I actually had to use that that method. I don't know if you guys know about it, but if you got an Allen wrench and it's hard to, to turn, you actually use a crescent wrench and you put it over there, over that. You can twist the crescent wrench and it gives you a lot more torque instead of trying to twist that thing with your hand. Anyway, that's what I did because this was a bitch to get in. Anyway, that's this side, okay? And then the other side, <clears throat> here's the other puck. This one's a lot easier. So, like I said, pull out the factory bolt, which is the bigger bolt that they give you, the longest one. That goes on here. I use the True Blue, I don't know if you can see it, True Blue threading compound. And then this, <clears throat> the other, the smallest bolt, they give you two small bolts. One goes here, and one goes on the opposite side that holds the bar on. So I put the bar on on the other side, uh, almost tight. Okay, then I put, when I installed this, I tightened this one up all the way. Then went on the other side and finished tightening them. One thing, <clears throat> so these things look great. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes, almost an hour to, to do this. It's going to take me about 5 minutes, 10 minutes to put the uh, fairings back on. So... You're looking at about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. The only thing I'm not crazy about <clears throat> is that it covers up the uh, VIN number on this bike. 
So, you know, if somebody wants to try to steal it and the cops come looking for it, took the license plate off, uh, there's no VIN number on here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little VIN plate made and maybe stick it here somewhere or somewhere that's not too conspicuous. Um, not, not like like right here or anything, but somewhere around here. But I think that's what I'm going to do, have a plate made with the VIN number on it uh, and with this little information. <clears throat> There's like engraving companies that will do that stuff. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's it. Looks great. I'm going to put the bike back together. Um, <clears throat> so I'm pretty much done explaining this to you. But if, oh, one other thing. To use this threading compound, just in case you don't know, <clears throat> you just squeeze some on here and then you spin it around while you're squeezing some and you just use the head to just jam it in the threads. Okay, and it's going to get a little messy, you just clean it up when you jam it in there, but this stuff is worth its weight in gold. It's This stuff's got Teflon in it and it's just, <clears throat> you could feel it starting to get really tight when you putting it on there because it's it's meant to uh, keep it from backing out you don't want these things vibrating loose okay um, so that's it thanks for watching um, if you if you like the video please like it if you want to subscribe I'd appreciate it um, <clears throat> but just to let you guys know so I'm gonna let you guys go who are done with the video uh, but if you don't know how to take the fairings off I'm going to explain kind of quickly how you take the fairings off. So on this side, you're going to have an Allen and an Allen. They're very obvious where they are. Now on the opposite side of the fairings, is a little. this is a plug, so there's a little male. And so when you take everything apart and you take these off, you're going to be like, damn, why can't I pull it off? And it's because there, there's a little... Uh, male shaft that goes in there male shaft there you go anyway male shaft that goes in there and it's kind of tight so you're gonna have to pull on it and it'll it'll break loose but it's, it's not gonna break the fairings okay uh, <clears throat> you've got an allen bolt here okay and then you've got like this long ass uh, bolt it's actually a bolt there and that's that's it right there Okay, so that's the, the, that's the actual Allen, my freaking light cut off on my phone. Anyway, so you're going to take those off, then um, up in here, this is under, so what you're looking at, this would be underneath the fairing, okay, and this keeps uh, this dust shield, this dirt shield, up under the nose, okay. And so you have one towards the back, a hole here, and then you have another hole here. Okay, so you got one, two, and those are attached with these, these little snaps. Okay. All right, and then you're going to have a underneath the fairing. Uh, let me see where it's at. So underneath the fairings. This is the left side. So underneath the fairings, you're going to have one right there towards the front. I guess towards the chin. You're going to have one there. Okay. And then there's a strap that they actually put across. <clears throat> this is the right side fairing. And see that strap right there that goes across? That's another, there's another plastic connector. See, I left that one on on that side. And that actually like bridges the two fairings together, supports. <clears throat> And as far as I know, from I can remember, that's all of them, okay? And then that's going to bring this side off. Okay, and then on the, the opposite side, I think the opposite side was easier. So you've got the same deal on this side. You've got one Allen, another Allen. you got that plug again. Then you have these. There's one there for the uh, under the nose. And then there's the other one. There, you can see it. Haha. -ha. There's the other one. Uh, so this goes up in here. And then the fairings go attached to this. Okay. Uh, 
then you're gonna have another one right here a bigger Allen and then you're gonna have an Allen here back here with a plug so when you take that <coughs> actually no you're gonna have an Allen here you're gonna take that Allen out here and then there's a plug right here because I was like damn why won't it come out there's just a male plug there's a Robert Gromit with a male plug and let's see if I can show it to you male plug is right there they're like damn I thought I got them all out <clears throat> but you're just gonna have to support a little bit and don't yank too hard and it'll come right out <clears throat> and just install it the same way so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to wrap it up man I do air conditioning work and I was working in an attic <clears throat> this week and I'm freaking dehydrated but I love my bike I love my hobbies I love my wife. Maybe I should spend more time with her. But uh, anyway, that's it. I hope you like the video. Have a good weekend and ride as safe as you can with all the gear you can. Have a good one. Okay, so here's what the uh, T-Rex GSXR frame sliders look like installed. They're really, really nice. You can tell they're good quality. <clears throat> right side. Anyway. All right, there it is. Hope you like it. Have fun.